The Cordillera administrative region, a land of great economic potential, a place blessed with the rich and abundant natural resources, an area that is proud of its distinct culture, tradition, and multi-ethnic diversity. Since its creation in July 15, 1987, by virtue of Executive Order 220, the car has been a prime example of what a region can become if given the chance to steer its own course of development. But after more than 30 years since its establishment, there is a sense the region has not lived up to its promise and is yet to achieve its full growth potential. Stakeholders in the region say this is because the area has not yet been granted genuine autonomy as embodied in the 1987 Philippine Constitution. What we are clamoring for, for which is autonomy for the Cordilleras, is uh, decentralization of powers and resources. This will ensure the future of our young people. It is more for them. I say this because this has to do with our right to self-determination, what we would want to be for ourselves, not just our time, our generation, but especially for them. Maski sa Philippine Constitution, yung Article 10, hang, Sections 15 to 20, dinescribe niya, inestipulate niya na ang, uh, kailangan may autonomy, uh, ipurso dapat ang autonomy sa, sa Muslim Mindanao at saka sa Cordillera. There have been serious attempts to transform the Cordillera into an autonomous region. Two autonomy bills were separately passed in Congress and the plebiscites were conducted. The first one in 1990 and the second one in 1998. Unfortunately, both bills failed to garner the nod of the people. Studies later revealed that residents had a very limited understanding of the autonomy issue and did not have a compelling reason to support the legislation. If people would say yes, it is because they understand clearly that this is the answer to the issues being raised in the struggle. It's mostly for lack of information about uh, autonomy and what autonomy can do for this region. Why yes, why no? All those who voted for no, the reason is lack of knowledge, lack of awareness, lack of info. May kumakalat na, na parang a rumor na, ay naku, huwag kayong pumayag dyan sa autonomy niyan kasi kung pumayag kayo yung sweldo ng teachers, ng government employees, mas mababa. Kasi wala naman pang gagalingan ng pera, which is totally wrong. Ano? Kasi hindi naman kailangan ganun. As per the latest report of the RDC, statistically, there was a great improvement as far as the awareness. But there is now renewed hope for the people of the Cordillera and the push for greater autonomy. House Bill 5343, an act establishing the autonomous region of the Cordillera, has been filed in the Congress. Seven of the region's legislators have thrown their support behind the bill. This is seen as a clear indication of their solidarity and strong desire to bring genuine autonomy to the region. The Cordillera people have realized that the only way the region can gain true and meaningful autonomy is for them to unite and work hand in hand towards realizing their common vision. Uh, we are very much ready in Ifugao. In fact, in the first organic act, it was Ifugao who voted yes. And with all the various information drive, education drive, the people are already ready. We are just waiting for the passage of the law to vote for yes in the plebiscite called for the purpose. Ready yung Cordillerans to achieve autonomy. My question is rather, when will we be ever ready? <laughs> So, uh, I should think that the sooner we get into it, the better. The Regional Development Council, CAR, is now taking the lead in carrying out a massive information campaign on House Bill 5343 and explain how the law will benefit the people of the Cordillera.
and we choose to be autonomous. Yes, to the Cordillera Autonomous Region. The campaign is anchored on the theme, One Cordillera, a testament to the solidarity of the people, particularly the region's IPs who stand to benefit from the landmark legislation. In support of this initiative, the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process through its Indigenous Peoples Panel, in collaboration with the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, recently conducted a series of provincial consultations that seek to obtain recommendations from the people themselves on how the autonomy bill can be further enhanced to reflect the dreams and aspirations of the region's IPs. The reason na magkakaroon tayo nitong activity, di ba Sir Ruben, was gusto nating magkaroon ng connect, connection, yung constitutional provision, yung philosophical underpinnings na normative foundation ng ating autonomy sa bill. Di ba na unang-una, kaya nga tayo magkakaroon ng autonomous government is because the constitution says that there should be a such governments in CAR and Mindanao to rectify historical injustices. The consultations were thematic and tackled key provisions in the autonomy bill that will have an impact on the rights and welfare of the region's IPs, which include land and natural resources, governance and representation, and cultural rights. Morning. We are here at Ifugao State University. This is one of the seven provincial runs to be conducted for the Indigenous Peoples Legislative Assembly in the Cordillera. We are going to talk to, to about 110 participants coming from different ethno-linguistic tribes in Ifugao. type of fora, fora should be able to provide uh, opportunities for grassroots uh, participation because uh, we have to distribute the uh, uh, process to the broader community of people, not just to a certain sector. Huwag tayong makukonfuse. Let us remove our doubt. Let us be one in supporting autonomy for the Cordilleras. Uh, that must include everybody who, who lives here, no? or at least permanently settled here, and uh, whether in blood or by affection, uh, considers himself as a Cordilleran by virtue of the fact that he resides here, he has his interests here. No? So we should be inclusive. Kung hindi ka kasali sa pagmamayari ng bill, are you going to approve it? Of course not. So this is one way of uh, seeing to it, seeing to it that they will become co-owners of the bill. The Indigenous Peoples Legislative Assembly in the Cordillera, the first of its kind to be conducted in the region, is truly a landmark event. It will give the region's residents the chance to actively participate in the legislative process and provide them a platform to collectively assert their rights and privileges as Indigenous peoples. Most importantly, the Assembly will give people the opportunity to speak in one voice and play a key role in charting their region region's future. Let's study this Cordillera autonomy because I think that is, this is the way to go. As they say, this is the time to say your peace or else hold your peace forever. We appeal to government to uh, immediately pass that bill so that 
kaming taga-Cordillera ay makamit. Sana namin yung autonomy na matagal naming hangat. Join those advocates for regional autonomy. Read the proposed Organic Act. If you have some contributions, do so. In a way, we can submit those contributions or inputs to the to Congress for inclusion if it's not unconstitutional. And uh, this regional autonomy is really our gift to our future generation. Para talagang yung yung magiging lalabas na autonomy law is something that reflects their own interests, their aspirations, and their demands for their rights to be respected, protected, and fulfilled. Ang uh, minsahe ko ay susuportahan natin itong matagal nating uh, dream na magkaroon ng autonomy kasi ito ang pag-asa natin. Well, this is a challenge for everybody. Autonomy is not an issue for not only for leaders or officials or government functionaries. This is a basic issue for every Cordillera. Everybody should understand that because that is the, our active participation in our future governance. Well, if you do not like to be involved, then later on the you should do waive your right to complain. So, kailangan tayong mag-cooperate to, to gain or to really uh, have this autonomy for, for us. Let us continue the fight for the creation of an autonomous uh, uh, region in cards so that uh, the people will realize their long dream and the dream of our ancestors our forefathers that will establish a genuine regional autonomy for the people of Cordillera. We must be uh, maintained as one region, the Cordillera region. And autonomy is a good vehicle towards that. Walang ideology. <laughs> no, you know, it's not the extreme right, the extreme left, uh, communism, socialism, or what. Basta, kung ano yun talagang spirit, diwa, puso ng Cordillera. This is really a the vehicle for development of the entire region, not only for infrastructure, but even human development. This is the hope of the Cordilleras. This is the future of our children and our children's children.